Hello good people, this is Sam here at She Does The Most and today I have a Dollar Tree haul. I want to show you um, some stickers and a little bit of other Dollar Tree items that I purchased to get me through the rest of this year in planning. Um, in my last video, I did an overhaul of my planning system went in a completely different new direction and I want to go in a new direction with my stickers as well. Um, in that last video I showed that I felt as though I was just adding stickers to have a video to pump out to create content and I wasn't really enjoying it and I just didn't want to do that anymore. I feel like if I'm passionate about it, then you guys will be passionate about watching it. And I was just losing my passion altogether. So I have downgraded my sticker collection to ones that I feel like are really beautiful and really gorgeous and will really serve me well um, as we finish out 2023. Yeah, baby. So, in no particular order, um, we have these set of stickers. And I already felt like I didn't have a lot, but these are kind of a lot. So, these are not necessarily new. I did have some, most of these previously, but there are just some that I didn't want to use. They didn't speak to me or my style. So, um these are some sunflowers and i think i'm gonna use these for my september spread because sunflowers to me always seem very intro to fall and maybe if i put them on the table sorry for any glare that you might be seeing But these are really pretty stickers with a lot of nice detail. Um, I will say that my collection might be completely rub on transfers because I feel like the best looking thing at Dollar Tree are these rub on transfers and that sometimes their stickers can just look a little low budget, a little crazy. So these are also ones that I plan on using. Okay, so I have never, I have used this type of golden foil rub on transfer before, but I've never used these. So when I do, it will be a lesson for us all. But these are just black outline. And I feel like they are absolutely great. Like this with a butt first coffee, the teas. Um, I have a lot of sewing projects. Um, I have a medically complicated foster son and I was going to make some adaptive onesies for him. And when I do, and I use an icon for planning for that time, here are the sewing machines, I can use these buttons and thread, scissors. Um, we usually do a garden, baking, like all of these I absolutely love. For some reason, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a Christmas ornament to me. So these two for Christmas time, love it. Um, I forgot what these were called. These are a weed and you know, they're like usually white and you blow them, but I feel like these are really nice rub on transfers. This would even be good to do for New Year's. It kind of looks like fireworks. So um, this is similar to that other brown one. And these I absolutely love. I have another one that's just like this. And these are so great. Cut this out, 
put it in my planner, write a plan on the inside. Like this is so elegant. Isn't that so nice and so sweet? And this is a lot more my style. These animals are just so nice. The letters are backwards. So you can see this is how you would rub them on. But I have that beginning page on my planner sheet that's blank. I can use these to spell out the month, um, spell out different things. I don't have to put the month on this front page. I can put sweater weather, you know, and decorate for the winter around it. So these I love. Another one of these brown bag rub-on transfers. Is this one that is absolutely beautiful let's create some space okay so this wish I was thinking about would be nice for Christmas I'm wondering if I could color this in I'm not sure but I will definitely try this deer here with the flowers so springy these look very Christmassy these acorns love these transfers I'm really hoping that it goes on well this heart for Valentine's Day love it just love it um I have some leaves so these ones are similar to the sunflowers. They're a little raised. They're not really flat. And I feel like if I leave them in the plastic, it's going to be a lot of glare. So I definitely want to do more muted things. I'm not, you know, I like color but I don't think I'm that bright and bubbly, you know? So I do want to stay really neutral, but I do like to throw in color every once in a while. And this is something where I can put strips of color along my page, words. Um, you know, a lot of planners already come with quotes in there stay wild, welcome to our tribe, things like that, I can use. This is a very similar color scheme. These are really cute, whimsical flowers that I feel like look really nice. Something that I got that looks really high-end are these leaves. These leaves are beautiful. Let's see if we can get close up here. Absolutely beautiful. The details on these. These look a lot more high end to me than the Dollar Tree. This is what you get from craft stores. These are their rub on transfer collections. I'm telling you, everything I have is gonna be a rub on transfer because I feel like they look so much better than any sticker you can get. These stickers, I really like. We are moving into the fall season. These have matte sections and shiny details. These look like you could pick these leaves up from outside. In comparison to these Rub-On Transfers, they are both beautiful. This to me is amazing. Really amazing. Okay, something else that I got, once again for my um, sheet, this Rub-On Transfer sticker this would be great for October or November. Here is, what is this? These are craft decals. 
They have sunflowers. This one says blessed that you can use at any time. Family, any time for any month. But this side says thankful. And so this is what I was thinking about using for Thanksgiving. Mostly the words. These are very springy, but I can save that for some other time in the year. But I really like that. Here are some more of the, they're not 3D. I guess they are a little 3D. But they're a little raised. But they're not puffy stickers at all. They're really flat. But these are red flowers that would be good for pretty much anything. These look like they could actually be winter flowers. They're not super springy. I have these rub-on transfers that I love. I know it seems like I love everything, but I kind of do. And that's what makes me really excited. Like, I want to love them again. <laughs> and so this section, these look like um, that they're kind of like drawn in with pencil. And this looks very whimsical, very avant-garde, very my style, a little gothic. This is what I love. On that same note <laughs> is this rub-on transfer. And this choker, um, it just seems also really old fashioned. I love it. This one is about fashion and I'm not very fashionable, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I still think that it's really pretty and this would be really nice to have in my planner. Here are some more flowers, really beautiful roses that I would enjoy using. And then I have this skull. So this is a glass sticker. I was thinking about for Halloween to put a blackout page. I've never done anything like that, but if you guys are into blackouts, this would be something really nice to go on that. It would show up really well. I don't even have anything black to show you what it looks like. Let's see. Okay, there we go. How nice is that? I thought that that was really cute. So the last set of stickers that I have are these sticker books. I was only able to find these three and most of these stickers won't work, but won't work for me. But for $1.25, I feel like the ones that do work are worth it. And then also my daughter has a planner. I will show you what planner she is using for the new school year. But whatever stickers I don't use, she can use, okay? So this probably won't work, but the black definitely will. Um, let your light shine, be a girl boss, always follow your heart, life is fun. These are cute stickers that I can use. These ones are hmm, our plan. I like the green ones. These ones are not bad down here. Goal hearts, I feel like those can always be used. Um, hanging out with friends, dinner with friends homework, those I would use. On this side, I have one of their older sticker books that I think have these sheets already. This thank you, this smile, I like these pieces of tape. I actually really do like that. Hello. This one is very colorful, probably won't work. My daughter would probably love that. I like the weather. Oh, I like this one. You're doing great. That one is really nice. These arrows might work. These ones I like. Birthday, important, don't forget. The ones in the green, you're the best. This one I like, <laughs> I'd be keeping that one for myself. 
and so this one is like the um, green booklet. Um, let's do this pink one. Ooh, this is a lot of pink. <laughs> this marble one is nice. This is, this is a lot of pink. This one is, this one is also, oh, this one's not bad. These kind of muted colors are okay, I suppose. Oh, I have a sticker book that has these. I love these multicolored girls. Those are nice. And these I can use, this is like a pink holographic that I like. The money sign that don't forget the planner and the weekly any tests I like that this one is cute it's really pink but it's not bad it's not gaudy I like the shape of this hello weekend hooray for weekends TGIF I really like this Today is the day. That's kind of cute. This one is okay. I might be able to use some of the black and whites. These flag ones are really nice and simple. Um, this can go under a decorative piece. This is just a square pink polka dot box. I like that one. And I have something that have these, but I like it. Get organized. Lord knows I need it. These X's. Anything in black and white is usable to me. This peachy color is really nice too. I love arrows. And that's it for this pink booklet. So this one I think is my favorite. <laughs> okay, so this is super colorful yes but for a cinco de mayo spread every once in a while you can have a lot of fun and you don't have to use all of these like if you do an avocado this pinata a taco this guitar a cactus you can't go wrong with that you don't have to use the llama or the less fiesta but i think those elements like this pinata if you put that and you say Cinco de Mayo. That is really cute. Put that down. Trip to Mexico. That is really nice. This one I kind of love. There's a lot of color going on, but this one is so cute. I really, really like this whole page. This one is a really a nice one. Okay, let's start on this side. Um, no. <laughs> It's a lot of a lot, but my daughter will probably like it. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, this one was in the other book. Mm, maybe a little bit here and there. Is that the last page? Okay, that's the last page. I love this one. <laughs> this is so cute. The kids' bathroom upstairs is actually decorated as llamas, and it's kind of the same color scheme. The teal, the blue, and the pink. I guess it's girly, but to me it's kind of gender neutral. Morning, afternoon, evening. I love this. I love this. I love everything about it. And we've seen this before also, but still can use these. This is a little marble half circle. That's really nice. And the last page. This is not bad. The writing is nice. This strip. This is not bad. It's a lot of color. This pink is really pinking, but it's not bad. And that's it for this section 
love this side. And those are the stickers. Okay, a few last things that I got for my new planner. Where are these post-it notes? Because they are so cute. I love the pattern. I also love that it's an interesting shape. And then I also got them in these little tabs. Because sometimes I just need little notes or to put a little thing or to mark going back to a particular page. So these, I love. I got these binder clips because I felt as though they're not really gold. They're kind of like brassy maybe, but I felt like they really went nice with the color of the planner. Um, whenever I'm done with a certain amount of pages, I would just clip them together so that I can turn to the page that I'm working on. Um, I got these. And I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use them on the planner or something else. Um, I really love them. They're really steampunky. Anybody that knows me knows that steampunk is life. I love it so much. I think these are so beautiful, but they are puffy. And I am worried. Yeah, it says puffy right here. I am worried how they will work on my pages and if I will be able to write on the opposite side but I am doing some costuming for Dragon Con this year so I might be able to use these on that maybe but I will try to use them in the planner and just suck it up with my puffy pages because these are really beautiful I really want the disc bound planner um i've never used a happy planner or anything like that but i actually wanted to try to use my inserts in this planner for my daughter just an idea so i found these covers and this is in the larger size i believe this is a five by seven and a half. So it has the black and white that says plan your best life front and back. And then it has this pink marbling that says make today yours. And she likes, I don't know, things that are a little bit more mature now that she's eight years old. <laughs> so if I can find the rest of the disbound system to make that work, I will. But I just pick these covers up in hope that I will find it. Okay. So I picked up some academic planners. And this one I purchased for my daughter for when she goes back to school. And this is just personal information. I like that it's black writing. This is for her to write down what classes she has well, when. This actually works for me so that I know when she has gym to make sure she has sneakers. Um, she's also going to be doing cheerleading and violin this year. So we can write down when that is happening. It starts in August when she goes to school. They go back on the first, bright and early. They're starting on a Tuesday, which is a little odd. But, and then here it is just one page for the month and it's assignments, but she doesn't really use it for assignments. It's kind of like, what does she have planned for the month? And I feel like for an eight year old, this is more than enough. So she can write down, any play dates she has, any friends birthday parties coming up, family members birthday parties, any activities that she's doing. And so it just repeats for each month. And this one runs from August to next year, August. And so it kind of has a small section for June and July. Her school also ends in May. 
and they probably won't have that much going on in the summer except for camps and then it begins again so it has a note section and it has a project planner i actually like this i'm gonna see how she feels about this every year we do enter the science fair and so this may help her in the planning process it may not it may help me more than it helps her um we'll just see and then the last part <laughs> is yearly planning this is not dated um what this would be good for is like maybe color coding if it is green then it is half days for the school year if it's red then it stays off that's something that would be really helpful on this and i might go through and fill that out because that would be good information for me to know but that is the end of that planner. And then so this is another one that I picked up. And um, with this, what is this called? Hound's Tooth kind of black and white. This one seems a little bit more mature, you know, that an older child, a high schooler, you know, would be able to use it. It has the same kind of layout. And so I want to do a giveaway with this one um i'm thinking if you are subscribed to the channel and you comment um just leave a comment that says academic planner then at the end of i'll give it a week i won't have it go on for too long but at the end of the week i will choose a person and contact them about sending them this academic planner so that they can use it for the upcoming school year. Okay, so that is all that I have. This is all of the stuff and stickers that I really like, that I feel like can create something more my style, that I feel is very beautiful, and that I am excited to use for the rest of the planning year so that is all that i have and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys you want to try baby i know you can i know your heart and you will figure out